We're going in after deer we call Moses. This year, he's a 10 point with a, another double main beam coming out. Last year, he was basically a big eight point. We got footage of him in the rut in both season. We couldn't get an air in him, but he was a big body deer. Pretty sure this deer's about six years old this year. So I'm going in after him. He's a big old bully. And we're gonna see if we can't lay an eyeball on him. Since the dawn of time, man's had this fire inside. It still burns in us today. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at what a deer. Yeah. We just smoked a bird. This is the rival. Man, I'm just doing my cage talk right now. Welcome to the first day of Illinois firearm season. It's the very first day. I'm sure hunters are packed in tight. We got in here super early this morning. We actually saw one of my big deer right at daylight chaos, but it was too dark to get him on camera. We put our work in this summer to plant our food plots, our you know, our corn, our clover, our turnips this uh, late summer, our wheat and oats this late summer. So we've done a lot to try to get everything ready for the farm. And in the last six days, we've got three or four different times that he was on stealth cam. So we're definitely gonna stick this spot out. We're sitting here, it's about 45 minutes after daylight. We're seeing quite a few deer entering throughout the field. So deer on their feet, we're hearing guns crack off in the distance. Oh dude, there's a big buck. There's a big deer right there. That's Moses, buddy. That is Moses. That's Moses. Is his kicker gone? Kicker's gone, ain't it? Dang it. We got him in the field. Yeah. Bat. Bat. I hate him. I hate him. Damn. Damn, baby. Damn. Damn, baby. Damn. Exactly where last pass failed. Man, Carl, we are having a record year. Record year. Record year. Yes. That's the deer we came in to hunt right there. Moses, we checked stealth cameras yesterday, and good gosh, was he showing up. And we just shot an old deer that we call Moses. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what to say. And now it's all come full circle why he called him Moses. When he come down that lane of that cut corn, I knowed he was in trouble. It just looked like Moses parting the sea. It might be a lucky pair of socks or routine before or after a hunt. Whatever it may be, trust that hunt to the most shootable and efficient bow ever developed. Honor the ritual.
Which camouflage is better? One that disrupts the human form or one that naturally conceals? Well, we say both. Introducing the new Real Tree Edge, the first camo pattern that allows you to blend in at close range and has the realistic elements that match your hunting surroundings, completely erasing the human form at any distance. So don't settle for one or the other. Hump with an edge. Real Tree Edge. We're getting used to this. Leaving the blind, tracking a deer. No track job needed. Deer ran, I don't know, 40 yards, 50, 60 yards, somewhere around there. Look at this, man. Gosh, this is awesome. 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 I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look at that big old deer. But man, what an awesome deer. I mean, what a season. What a season. Look at this dude, huge body deer, huge body deer. Last year I watched this buck breed a doe and uh, I hunted him late season but I never could run into him. But boy, he, he started daylighting this year quite a bit. And after we shot last pass, we let the farm lay and we came back and the first morning in the blind, he's the second mature buck that showed up we gave Chaos the pass. This is the guy we wanted right here. And if that ain't a textbook hunt, I don't know what is. We just got old Moses propped up here on the back of the GMC on the old hitch holler. And I mean, he's, he's freaking sitting on that hitch holler like it's a piece of dental floss. So we're gonna go over to Bart's camp. We're gonna just pull up. We're gonna throw it in reverse right there in his face. You gotta show her off when you ride down the road there, dog. That's a big deer. I told you that's a big old deer. Man, it's a shame he broke that double main beam off. He did break it. Yeah, you, it's a big old bl bloody spot on the side of his head right there. That deer's a little bigger than mine. If I'd have saw that deer this morning, I'd tore the blind down <laughs> trying to get the gun on Oh, it. we filmed him for 10 minutes. It's been Look, on. I had that lane knocked down, he would do this. It's he wouldn't on. leave the lane, he just kept walking, zigzagging. Well, Good. I'll tell you what, when we set him up, I'll take my picture with this one, Blair, you take your picture. Blair, you take your picture with this one. I'll take my picture with that one. They'll be like, oh, what you listen to that? Travis normal. go kill one too. That way you got three to pick from. That's well, crazy. we've done a lot of damage in this state right here. First time, first time for me and ever, really. You don't get to fill both tags too often. Nope. Travis like, I just want to fill a tag. Right. We always joke, have a competition between us, but hey, we all killed deer, we all had fun, and that's what the sport is really truly about. Everybody else is killing deer. Blair's killed, I think, two deer in Illinois. Bark's killed two deer in Illinois. I think Joe's killed either one or two deer in Illinois. Everybody's tagged out in Illinois, and all I got to show for it was a time lapse. It was a good time lapse. It was actually pretty good. I think I did it with my iPhone. It's not that good. This is the ride.